to my channel Mariner Shian. If you are new to this channel guys, subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification. I really hope all of you are doing fine, all of you are doing good, all of you are keeping yourself healthy as it is very important for us Mariners. Guys build up your basic, make it everything correct and fine so that once you go on board a ship it will be easy for you. So as to follow the practical procedures on board a ship. And yeah subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing my channel, watching my video and commenting on the comment post. It makes a huge impact in my channel as it really motivates me and makes me to improvise my ch channel videos much more in a more effective sense. So guys thank you once again from the core of my heart. It means a lot to me, especially you subscribers. I am really working hard to make the videos in a much more interesting sense so that it will be useful for you and it will stay in your mind for a longer duration of time. So guys keep motivated, study hard, work on yourself inspire others this is the best time to build yourself as a better person so guys coming back to track the topic for today is sewage treatment plan or stp sewage treatment plan is considered as one of the most important equipment on board a ship sewage treatment plan is very tricky kind of equipment if anything goes wrong with the sewage treatment plan discharge or anything you will be heavily fined and your company will have to be embarrassed in the whole maritime industry so guys in this video i won't be able to cover all the portion of stp as stp itself is a vast topic and maybe in the next video or in the other section i will be speaking about the sewage treatment plan in, in a much more elaborated sense so guys in this video i will be just be speaking the basics of sewage treatment plan guys as i have told you earlier sewage treatment plan is considered as one of the most trickiest equipment on board a ship and utmost care must be taken while discharging the sewage Board. The sewage that is generated on board a ship can't be stored in the ship for longer duration of time. At some point of time you have to discharge the sewage into the sea. Point that I want to make is that sewage can be discharged into the sea but it cannot be discharged directly. There are certain regulations like Marpol Annex 4 itself and there are basically different kind of local rules and regulations as well considering the geographical area and there are special area too. So guys read the Marpol Annex 4 very carefully at as it completely deals about pollution by sewage. So guys read Marpol Annex 4 very carefully as Marpol is considered as the bible of marine industry. So for the discharge of sewage treatment plant sewage basically the deck department and engine department must go hand in hand. The sewage in the sewage treatment plant are composed of grey water and black water. Yeah guys if you don't know grey water and black water what it is Guys, if some of you guys know, comment down below in the comment section as it will be a learning platform for other subscribers too. So guys, be interactive and be cooperative in the comment section and write down the answers in the comment section what are grey water and black water. Every ship of 400 gross tonnage and above which are engaged in international voyage and having a minimum of 15 workers or crew on board a ship must be equipped with either sewage holding tank or an approved STP sewage treatment plant. I say it one more time approved sewage treatment plant. The sewage treatment plant is basically located in the engine room where all the black water and grey water from the toilet as well as from all washing come to the sewage treatment plant and the sewage is being treated and it is being discharged outside out of the ship as per Marpor Annex 4 and even considering the local rules and regulation as per geographical area and special area. The special area here it is Baltic Sea. The rule says that the sewage can be discharged into the sea only if the sewage have been treated by the sewage treatment plant that is approved by the classification society and the distance of the sea ship from the nearest land must be more than 3 nautical mile. But if the sewage is not treated it can be discharged but at a distance of 12 nautical mile away from the nearest land. And there are certain conditions for it as well. The sewage that you are discharging outside must not have any floating visible solids as well as there must not be any coloration, discoloration of the surrounding water. The discharge rate of the sewage into the sea is approved by the administration and the speed of the ship is 4 knots. Generally on board a ship the kind of sewage treatment plant we are using is biological type of sewage treatment plant and the discharge from the sewage treatment plant is basically very eco-friendly kind of discharge. Even though it is causing environmental pollution, it is causing less environment pollution as compared to directly discharging it into the sea. 
so basically everyone is contributing towards the environment pollution the our main intention is just to minimize the impact of environment pollution in the nature the sewage treatment plant fitted on board a ship must be approved by the classification society and it must perform as per the requirements and rules and regulation as i have told you earlier also as per marpol annex 4 and considering the geographical area and special area and obviously local rules and regulation preferred type of sewage treatment plant that we are using on board a ship is involving aerobic bacteria so basically whatever the sewage is being produced on board a ship will be sent to the sewage treatment plant where the oxygen dissolved in the water will really assist in performing the biochemical reaction by the aerobic bacteria what the aerobic bacteria will do is that it will break down the sewage into simple components and carbon dioxide so whatever here happens is a natural cycle what aerobic bacteria do is that it utilizes the oxygen present in the water to break down the sewage into simple components and carbon dioxide and whatever the treated sewage is being discharged into the sea and this sewage helps to produce plant life and basically this plant helps to give back the oxygen back to the water what here really happens is that aerobic bacteria uses the oxygen to break down the sewage into simple component and carbon dioxide and the plant that is being produced by the sewage will give back the oxygen back to the water so basically the oxygen is being circulated from water and back to water and the natural cycle is retained unlike anaerobic bacteria where it really breaks down the sludge into simple components but it really produce harmful gases like toxic harmful gases like hydrogen sulfide and methane which is quite harmful to the environment as well as aquatic life so guys it is really causing a impact on the environment so we must always give oxygen to the water in the sewage treatment plant so as to enhance the aerobic bacteria to break down the sewage into simple components so as to not produce any harmful toxic gases like hydrogen sulfide and methane which is quite harmful to the environment as well as aquatic life so guys these are the few basics of the sewage treatment plant that is stp you must know as an engine carrier or maybe whatever your rank is so these are the basic thing that i wanted to include in this video so all the things i can't include in this video as it will be very lengthy one so i will be covering the rest of the topic in my next video so guys stay tuned in the next video so guys share this video with your friends if it is informative one and press the subscribe button and press on the bell icon for future notification see you next time guys stay healthy and stay safe